As lithium ion batteries continue to grow in popularity, lead acid battery manufacturers are now offering thin plate pure lead batteries, TTPL, in response, an offspring of the absorbed glass matte technology as an alternative. Are you interested in learning about the test results of an expert battery user? Keep watching for a closer look into the difference between a TPPL battery and a lithium ion battery. What are TPPL batteries? TPPL is an abbreviation for thin plate pure lead batteries. These types of batteries are a new type of absorbed glass mat batteries or AGM which have been on the market for some time now. TPPL batteries and AGM batteries are both lead acid. The way that the TPPL batteries work is very similar to the AGM battery. The total time it takes for a TPPL battery to reach its full charge is reduced. However, TPPL batteries need to be brought to full charge to limit sulfation. The largest difference between AGM batteries and TPPL batteries is the rate of charge. TPPL batteries can absorb more charge than the standard AGM battery faster. This results in an increase but declining acceptance rate. This means a TPPL battery can charge quickly up to 70 to 80%, but it takes a long time to get to its fully charged state. Performance of TPPL batteries compared to lithium ion. When you compare TPPL batteries to lithium ion batteries, you will find that the TPPL batteries need roughly double the normal capacity to do the same job. They typically cannot be discharged below 40% SOC without damaging the battery and or voiding the warranty. It's still lead acid. With lithium ion batteries, you do not have this limitation. TPPL batteries have a high rate of charge and discharge. This increased rate translates to an increased level of internal heat inside of the battery. This can cause a reduction in the life expectancy of a TPPL battery. Even if you take proper care of TPPL batteries, TPPL batteries won't have as long a life expectancy as the majority of lithium ion batteries that you're likely to find on the market. Life expectancy is routinely measured in cycles. When you compare lithium batteries to lead acid batteries, you'll find the lead acid batteries will lose their capacity when being used at a permanent partial state of charge, or opportunity charge. This isn't the case with lithium ion batteries. No memory effect. TPPL battery claims. There have been many performance claims made about TPPL batteries based on their beneficial characteristics. Let's take a closer look at some of the claims made about TPPL batteries. Increased charging rate. According to some manufacturers, TPPL batteries can be charged at a rate up to six times the rated capacity that they have. One of the leading manufacturers of TPPL batteries on the market claims that TPPL batteries can go from completely dead to at full charge in under 30 minutes. However, based on testing performed by Nigel Calder, even as TPPL batteries absorb two times their rated capacity, this rate only lasts for a limited amount of time. When a TPPL battery reaches around 70% charge, the acceptance rate dramatically slows down, about 300%. While manufacturers will claim that TPPL batteries charge faster than other types of batteries on the market, testing has shown that TPPL batteries follow the same charge curve as lead acid batteries. It's still lead acid. Charge capacity. When TPPL batteries are being used in a potential charge state, they work in the same way that AGM batteries do. This means that when a battery is partially charged, there's an increased risk of loss of charge capacity, the memory effect. While a TPPL battery charge capacity can be adjusted, there's special equipment that's needed to modify the charge capacity. The charge capacity can be adjusted by controlling how much the battery can be overcharged, but this only occurs when the voltage of a battery is driven to high levels. During the process of recovering the capacity of the battery's charge, it is to be expected that the venting of electrolytes will take place. In simpler terms, expect acid fumes or gassing. Usable capacity. Another common claim about TPPL batteries is the usable capacity. Manufacturers will claim that up to 80% of the capacity will be usable for up to 1200 cycles, compared to lithium ion batteries that offer above 80% of the usable capacity at 3000 plus cycles, depending on charging habits and application. That's more than double the cycles. Whenever there isn't a complete full recharge, the entire capacity to which a TPPL battery can be charged is reduced. This results in an additional drop in the battery's charging capacity. As an end result, this can cause a reduction in the capacity to around 50%, i.e. the memory effect. Lithium ion batteries can be charged at any given moment and for any amount of time with no loss of capacity. No memory effect. Storage. One claim that is proven to be true about the TPPL batteries is the shelf life of their charge. When a TPPL battery is brought to a full charge, the battery can be stored for several months without losing any charge. This is because of the low self-discharge rates that are found with TPPL batteries. 
Some lithium ion batteries have an on off button to switch off when the battery will not be used for as long as 6 to 12 months. The difference is between a lithium ion battery versus the TPPL battery, not a fair comparison. Now that you have a basic knowledge of the difference between lithium ion and TPPL batteries, we hope you understand that this is really not a fair comparison. They are often included in the same conversation because two technologies can be said to have the no maintenance feature. Aside from that, they're completely different technologies. It's like comparing apples to lions. Are you interested in learning more about how to take advantage of the lithium solution in your operations? Check out our blog today. We also welcome you to get in touch with our friendly team of professionals if you ever have any questions. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.